So, not too far from Earth, researchers spotted a new planet called Proxima b. Recently, astronomers used the James Webb Space Telescope to snap the most detailed picture ever of Proxima b. This planet goes around the star closest to our sun, and the picture is a pretty amazing look at a place beyond our solar system. This got scientists super interested. How did they do it? Could this picture show a place with conditions that could support life? What does this new finding mean for how we think about planets outside our solar system and the huge universe around us? Let's check out this fresh picture of Proxima b from the James Webb Telescope. Proxima Centauri b is way out there, orbiting its star, Proxima Centauri, only 4.2 light years from Earth. This first really clear look at Proxima b has us wondering if it could be like Earth. Could it have oceans and be full of life? What's cool is that Proxima Centauri isn't alone. It's got another planet with it, Proxima Centauri c. Proxima Centauri b gets about as much radiation from its star as Earth does from the sun. So scientists are wondering if it could have liquid water or even life. As we look at the universe, we see tons of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than our sun. Among the trillions of stars in space, these exoplanets offer all sorts of possibilities. Some of these planets just float around without a star, like giant space nomads. Proxima Centauri b is a weird and interesting one. Its year is super short, only 11.7 Earth days. It orbits its star way closer than Earth orbits the sun, like 20 times closer. Because of this, one side is always in daylight, and the other is always in darkness, making it pretty strange and maybe even wonderful. Proxima b was first found using something called the radial velocity technique. This is a cool way to find planets. It looks for tiny movements in a star caused by the pull of a planet orbiting it. As the planet goes around the star, it makes the star wobble a little. Scientists can see this wobble by looking at changes in the star's light. For Proxima b, these tiny changes showed that there was a planet out there, showing how well this method works for finding planets far away. Finding Proxima b was a big deal because it confirmed a planet in the habitable zone of the star nearest to our sun. This got researchers, students, and space fans really excited. They're eager to learn what Proxima b might be hiding and what it means for our understanding of the universe and the chances of life outside Earth. Proxima Centauri b is pretty amazing. Imagine three stars, Regulus, Canopus, and Proxima Centauri, traveling together as the star system closest to us. When you look at the night sky, Regulus and Canopus shine brightly in the Carina constellation. They're the third brightest stars we can see, but Proxima Centauri has a cool secret. Also known as Alpha Centauri, this red dwarf star is just 0.21 light years from its brighter buddies. That's way farther than the distance between Earth and the Sun. Its name, Proxima Centauri, means nearest star in Latin, which tells you it's our closest star neighbor. A Scottish astronomer named Robert Thorburn Innes spotted it way back in 1915. Even though it's close, you can't see Proxima Centauri without a telescope. It's just too dim. But still, it's pretty cool. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are powerhouses. They make energy through strong movements inside the star. This star will probably stick around as the main star in its system for trillions of years. But thinking about whether life could live around Proxima Centauri is tricky. As a flare star, Proxima Centauri sometimes sends out bursts of energy. It's also smaller, so any area where life could exist would have to be much closer to the star than Earth is to the Sun. Proxima b is in that area, but it's not that simple. Proxima b gets a lot of ultraviolet radiation, way more than Earth does. This radiation can mess with important elements like nitrogen and oxygen. Also, just because a planet is in the right spot doesn't mean it can support life. Proxima b might not have what it needs to keep water or control its climate. Without a good atmosphere, anything living on Proxima b would have a tough time. Trying to figure out Proxima b is tough, but it's a big goal for astronomers. The James Webb Space Telescope, which launched in 2021, could help us answer a huge question. Is there life on Proxima b? Getting the real story on Proxima b isn't easy. The James Webb Telescope had to be carefully set up to make sure its pictures were correct. According to a smart physicist at Harvard, Watching Proxima b takes a special touch. Since it's in its star's habitable zone, the planet takes in and sends out infrared radiation, which the telescope can see.
This telescope can pick up faint light from the planet's outer layers, which can help scientists find water or an atmosphere. Finding out if Proxima b has water is a big deal. Water is super important for life as we know it. If there's water on Proxima b, it'd make it much more likely that the planet could support some kind of life. Since it's close to its star, Proxima b gets a similar amount of energy as Earth. But it also gets a lot of radiation and magnetic activity from its red dwarf star. This could mess up any atmosphere it has. Plus, we don't know if there's liquid water there. Right now, scientists are using computer models to see what the environment on Proxima b might be like and if there could be water. Some think there might be huge oceans, while others think the water might be frozen or hidden underground. Finding water on Proxima b won't be easy. It takes super-advanced telescopes and the right conditions in the atmosphere. As our technology gets better, we should start to understand Proxima b's atmosphere and water situation better. Still, just because a planet has an atmosphere doesn't mean it's livable. An astrophysicist at Princeton University says we shouldn't jump to conclusions just because we see an atmosphere. He says Proxima b might be like Venus with a thick, nasty atmosphere and super hot temperatures. Proxima b is more than just another planet far away. It's a pretty interesting neighbor that might have the right conditions for life. Because it's close to Earth, it's a great target for future studies, and it gets scientists and space fans excited. We can't send people to Proxima b just yet, but it's something to think about for the future. Getting there is a huge challenge. Using current technology, it would take a probe like Voyager 2 about 73,000 years to get there. But people are always coming up with new ideas for space travel. Things like solar sails, really thin, light sheets that can be pushed by sunlight, could change everything. These sails could get a spacecraft to the Proxima Centauri system in just 20 years, making it seem possible that we could explore a planet like Earth in our lifetime. Finding Proxima b has made us even more curious about space. It shows that we're determined to explore and wonder about life beyond Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope is amazing, but it has limits. Even though it's really good at seeing things in space and finding planets that might have life, it's hard for it to figure out what their atmospheres are like and if they're good for life. Proxima b being like Venus reminds us that just having an atmosphere doesn't mean a planet is livable. The pic is pretty cool giving us a peek at what's beyond our solar system and getting everyone excited. How'd they even get such a clear image? Could this photo show us a place that could maybe have life? What does this even mean for how we study other planets? Let's check out the super clear pic of Proxima b from the James Webb. This planet, Proxima Centauri b, is way out there, orbiting Proxima Centauri, only 4.2 light years away. Getting a good look at it is making us wonder if it's anything like Earth. Maybe with oceans and life? Proxima Centauri isn't all alone, it's got a buddy, Proxima Centauri C. Proxima Centauri B gets about the same amount of light as Earth, so some people think it might have liquid water and maybe even life. We're always finding new exoplanets, planets that orbit stars other than our Sun. With like a zillion stars out there, the possibilities are endless. Surprisingly, some of these planets just wander around in space totally unattached. Proxima Centauri b is a weird one. Its year is only 11.7 Earth days, and it's super close to its star. Like, 20 times closer than Earth is to the sun. One side is always sunny, and the other is always dark. They first found Proxima b by watching how its star wobbled. As the planet goes around, it pulls on the star a little. Scientists can see this by looking at the light from the star. That's how they figured out Proxima b was there. Finding Proxima b was a big deal. It's in the Goldilocks zone of the closest star to us, which got scientists super hyped. They're really curious about what Proxima b is like and what it could mean for life out there. Think of three planets, Regulus, Canopus, and Proxima Centauri, hanging out together in space as our closest star system. When looking at the night sky, Regulus and Canopus combine to make a super bright thing. But Proxima's got a secret. It's a red dwarf star, also known as Alpha Centauri, and it's not far from its brighter buddies. Though big distance than the space between Earth and the Sun, a Scottish star guy, Robert Thorburn Innes, found it way back when. Even though it's close, you can't see Proxima Centauri without a Sirius telescope. It's not a very bright star. 
Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are powerhouses, making energy like crazy. This star will probably stick around for another 4 trillion years. The downside is that it shoots out a lot of energy bursts, and because it is so lower mass, potential life, a friendly zone may exist. Proxima B sits right in that zone, but it gets hammered with UV light way more than Earth. This can mess with atoms and screw up important stuff like nitrogen and oxygen. Also, being in the Goldilocks zone doesn't mean it's livable. Proxima B might not have what it takes to keep water around or regulate the climate. Any life there would have a rough time. Even though it's tough, scientists are keen to figure out Proxima B. The James Webb Space Telescope might help answer the big question. Is there life on Proxima B? Getting the truth about Proxima B is tricky. The telescope had to be precisely calibrated to get everything right. The planet absorbs and emits infrared light which the telescope can pick up. This could help find water or an atmosphere. Finding water is a top priority because, you know, essential for life. Even though it gets about the same amount of energy as Earth, Proxima B gets blasted with way more radiation and magnetic storms. This could wipe out the atmosphere. Some scientists think it might have massive oceans. Others think the water might be frozen or underground. Finding water will take some fancy telescopes. One scientist from Princeton, Turner, warns that just because it has an atmosphere doesn't mean it's nice. It could be like Venus, super thick atmosphere and burning hot. Proxima B is more than just another planet. It is our cosmic neighbor and makes us wonder about the possibility of life. Because it's so close, we might explore it someday. Sure, it would take like forever with our current tech. But people are working on new ideas to do interstellar exploring, like thin sheets that get pushed by light. And these sheets would get us to Proxima Centauri in 20 years. Finding Proxima B has made us excited full of wonder and hope again. It shows that we want to explore new places and figure out if we are alone out there. The James Webb Space Telescope is amazing, but it has its limits. Even with its fancy sensors, it's hard to accurately study the atmosphere of planets like Proxima b and tell if they could support life. Proxima b, what we see, looks a lot like planet Venus. This reminds us that just having an atmosphere is enough to have a viable, life-supporting planet. The telescope's sensitivity might even detect tiny signs, if there was intelligent life, that is. The universe has so many planets waiting to be found. Some are like huge gas giants like Jupiter, while others are more like Earth. Those massive gas giants are super cool because they make what we call super Jupiters. Jupiter seems tiny in comparison. And some like blazing heat from being close to the sun. There are also Neptunian planets, similar to Neptune and Uranus, and they're covered in puzzling atmospheres. Figuring out how distant exoplanets like Prox-B works has spurred a bunch of new tech and broadened how we see the cosmos. Stuff that helps study exoplanets, such as seeing how a star dims, has changed. It's helped us find tons of exoplanets where liquid water is possible. Such discoveries make us ponder further and get us closer to asking, are we alone amongst ourselves? Scientists are also looking for biosignatures, gases that suggest living things. By looking at exoplanet atmospheres, they hunt for stuff like oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide. The James Webb Space Telescope should come in handy for this, because it can find these gases on planets light years away. If, and when scientists check for biosignatures, and if found, indicates life in a certain planet or atmosphere, it could mean that life is out there in universe and in elsewhere forms.